rebounds now in the game. Love with the screen for Irving. Irving double team. And Verizhao kicks to James. Six on the shot clock. Cleveland needs to get a shot off here. Here's the kid. DeRozan passes to Dunn. One fifty-two left in the fourth quarter. It's good. This game is all even. The kid's got 25 points in the game. He's really picked up where he left off in the first. The screen on Ross. Love gets to Irving. Perejao banked in off the glass. Perejao's got four points now in the fourth. He's been one of their more reliable options today, guys. Led them to this lead. Here's the screen. Ross on the wing. He dishes it to Valanciunas. Patterson kicks to Ross. Six on the shot clock. The wide open look here for DeRozan. And again, Toronto with the triple. Another good look there, and that's his second three-pointer of the game. Irving kicks to Lakers. Right side, Irving. And they wasted no time getting those three points back. And the Cavaliers lead by two. Toronto's gone three of five from beyond the arc since the final quarter's gotten underway. Dunn passes to DeRozan. DeRozan gets a screen from Dunn. And DeRozan, here we go. Here's Valanciunas. Connects! He has tied up this game. Oh, what a shot. Oh, what a basket and at the perfect time. How about the courage and backbone of this guy? Wow. Irving this is the very shot. Nails it. A big bucket there to quiet this crowd, Clark. You know, that's exactly what you got to do. Just take them out of the equation. Make those fans be quiet. Yep, and that's exactly what he did. Here's Dunn. Yes! And the foul. It's going to be on Kyrie Irving. That's how you get the crowd on its feet. Huge bucket. They've been waiting for that one, guys. Talk about complete control. Everything working in this one for the kid. He's got 27 points, and he's buried a ton of three-pointers in this game, too. Now it's getting targeted. Keep track of just how many of those he's hit. Help! Boy, is it tough to stop LeBron right now. the kid and so it's Cleveland with it and they commit an intentional foul to see another one of those so they can get into the penalty Smart foul there. You've got to try to extend the game. Yeah, it's still close, but they're fighting that clock as much as the score right now. And so they choose to intentionally foul. First free throw is good, and that makes it a three-point lead. And a tough break as his second attempt at the line. No good. Boy, a three here would be huge. Oh, he put it down! It account. What a shot! I think that one was good. It's a buzzer! Such a clutch shot. The only thing that was going to save them was a three, and he gives them life. I'll tell you what, if they go on to win this game in overtime, guys, that may go down as one of the most legendary shots in team history. I like that shooting. Steve Kerr, Doris Burke on our sideline. Look now for Cleveland. Tristan Thompson comes in for Kevin Love. And it's Marion in for James. All fueled up and ready to go to overtime basketball here. Brought to us by Gatorade. Let's check out who's on the floor. On the court for Cleveland. Irving and Waiters, the guards. Thompson and Verizia 
at the four and five. And it's Marion in at small four. Just five on the clock. Ross kicks to out. Sinks the three-pointer. He got a bunch of good looks and has been absolutely lethal from behind the three-point line. Yeah, you got to get some bodies out there defensively, though. I mean, the things are way too easy out beyond the uh, three-point arc. Done. Switch here also for Cleveland. James is checked in. Pass to Waiters. Cleveland moving it around. Irving with it. Now guarded by Dunn. Outside Irving. He kicks to Thompson. Ball's not loose. And that's out of bounds. Cleveland will retain possession. Six Shot clock at six. Irving drives in. Up and in on the way. Irving's got 23. He just is not missing today. What a day he's had. He, he's the guy who's kept him in this game with his performance at that end of the court. Here's the kid. He's covered by Irving. Three-pointer. No good from Dunn. The Cavaliers leading by five. Irving double team. LeBron James on the wing. Wide open look. Yes, and it's Irving picking up the assist. 17 points for LeBron. How many times have we seen a possession like that from them today? Ending with a basket coming off a pretty pass. Well, if you just looked at assist as the measuring stick, they've been by far the better team. DeRozan against Waiters. Here's Ross, and there's the whistle. Fouled hard on the shot. He'll go to the line. Good on the first, and that turns the lead to six. Two shots. And both free throws good for Ross. Good aggressive basketball on that trip, drawing the foul and converting the free throws, narrowing the gap a little bit. That's big. And Verizhov kicks to Irving. Pass to James. Back to Irving. Fires from deep. Rejected by Dunn. And he's able to get it back. Looked like he rushed that one. But as the defense was out of position, he was wide open. Just couldn't take advantage. It's in! What a beautiful shot to bring him to within three. We're in overtime. If you just joined us, two and a half minutes through it. Cavaliers have gone a little over 50% from the field in overtime. They're four of six. LeBron drives in. It's good! And after that last game, Clark, I'm not surprised to see him so hot. He's got it rolling right now. Guys, a critical time for them in this ballgame. No room for mistakes right now. Well, guys, for a point guard, he can punch it. Yes, sir. I mean, that would have been unheard of about a decade and a half ago, Kevin, seeing a guy bounce like that at his side. Good yeah. point. Times have changed, though. Guys, we got guards all over the league who can play way above the rim. And so here's Cleveland, and he commits the intentional foul. So the first one drops, and that gives them a four-point cushion. And he hits both free throws here. So now it's a five-point game. Those are big free throws, guys, because now it becomes a two-possession game. Inside. Stolen by Verizon. And there's the foul to try to stop the break, and that'll be a clear path to the basket. Two free throws coming up, and they'll retain possession. So the first one drops, and that increases their lead to six. So it gets them both, and it's a seven-point game. So we LeBron, you have...
Teach you about piece of the one black Johnny and the out in the club. Everybody on Sinatra, look around. Everybody on Sinatra. I ain't talking about they call. I'm talking about and go ha 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 ha. I mean just go bonkers, make the young girls wild, and then go just make the smile. They don't need binoculars. Make wanna pull out. They got you. Ring, ba bum ba bum. Aerosol can, ba bum ba bum. Monkey outside, ba bum ba bum. All night, ba bum ba bum. for them in game one. We'll see if they can rally back in front of their hometown crowd to tie the series. And Kevin, this virtually becomes a must-win situation because of that loss in game one. It's happened so rarely that, that a team loses the first two games at home and ends up winning a playoff series. Yeah, they'll be stumbling if this one gets away from them, no doubt. Having to hit the road knowing they need to win two games in hostile territory. But if they right the ship here today, I think it'll be anybody's series. Look at Cleveland's starting group. Irving and Waiters, the guards. The two stars, LeBron and Love. Yes. The three and the four. And it's Verizhao in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. Well, they just gave him two points. Defensively, you're going to have to tighten things up here. That's, that's not a good sign. Here's Love. Toronto grabs the miss. They're coming to this game after losing on Saturday. And Kevin, they put so much effort into the final few minutes of regulation in that game that they were pretty burned out in the overtime period. Yeah, that's an excellent call by you, Steve. I thought there was a little bit of a letdown for them in OT. Here is Verizhen, following the score by DeMar DeRozan. Now Verizhen. It's LeBron with the drive. And he drops it in from the low post. You know, guys, that's what he does. He just loves to play that kind of attacking basketball. Cleveland on defense. And he takes that one up and powers it through. He can fly, can he? He'll make you forget he's a point card sometimes. Yeah, fly. when he does decide to attack the basket, Kevin, he can do it with the best of them. And this is the time to attack with, with these two teams locked in such a close game. Doris Burke has some information for us, Doris. Well, I briefly spoke with David Blatt. He was clearly feeling good coming out of the locker room. They were so composed in that game one upset, and he's looking for more of the same today. 